And back here at home, a young girl in Templeton who lost the use of her legs because of a rare disease has the chance at living a normal life again. Karina Corral has her story in tonight's Healthy Living. Like so many girls her age, Cheyenne plays with her dog, loves her dad, and argues with her little brother. What sets her apart, though, is a rare neurological movement disorder called dystonia. It's definitely affected her. She was a cheerleader. She played soccer. I mean, she was just like any other normal little eight-year-old girl. It caused her to lose control of muscle movements and has even attacked her voice box. Sometimes when I'm school, I don't even go up to the playground. Because I'm kind of embarrassed. For two and a half years, Cheyenne went misdiagnosed. It wasn't until her grandmother saw a segment on Oprah profiling a boy with dystonia that Cheyenne's father took her to see a specialist in this field. As soon as she walked in the door, he just looked at her and said, oh my gosh, this is dystonia. Her dad wants other parents to know it didn't have to get this bad. If it had been caught earlier, it likely could have been treated. There's other procedures you can do besides deep brain stimulation. There's uh, Botox injections, and that could possibly help. And then there's also medication. Now that she has been diagnosed, Cheyenne is a candidate for deep brain stimulation surgery. In the coming months, she'll have what's called the brain pacemaker implanted, giving her a 70% chance at a normal life again. As she takes me through a photo album, Cheyenne likes to remember those times that she hopes won't just be memories. Karina Corral, KSBY 6, Balance News. Cheyenne's father hopes to have a fundraiser in the spring to bring awareness to the disease. If you'd like to donate to the benefit, learn how at KSBY.com on the Healthy Living page. New